Hello, hello, hello. So I am here early today, earlier, still quite late. Uh, I'm Jess and today's myth that we are going to tackle is that you, some of you may feel that you are too old to attend Rio de Janeiro's carnival, the largest celebration in the world, the largest carnival celebration in the world. And I want to come in and bust up this myth today because carnival, as I've stated before in previous videos, carnival is a come one, come all kind of vibe and energy. The thing that I love about carnival is that it tra attracts so many different people especially in Brazil and especially in particular in Rio de Janeiro. The elders play such a huge role in preserving the traditions and preserving the uh, culture and definitely passing down the practices of how the carnival, everything from how the carnival is conducted and laid out um, to having that historical knowledge uh, that's important for the continuation of carnival throughout the world as it comes to the re as it comes to the representation representation of the Brazilian carnival so that's the first thing uh, hello hers in his essentials it's good to have you so that's the wonderful thing about being in an environment and in a space where you have a, a culture and a group of people that values and respects their elders. The other great thing about Rio's Carnival is that when we talk about, um, you know, the important role that elders play in the overall uh, celebration and, and the entire experience, is that you also have elders who are a part of the the bands that play uh you have elders who are a part of um you know obviously like the costume making there are people who have made ca uh, carnival costumes for many many years who are who are elders um they are also weaved into the fabric of the actual carnival parade. So all of the schools pay homage and give respect to their elders because you will see a specific section in just about every Samba school's uh, uh, parade performance where they have their elders and they're paying respect to those who came before. Not to mention, you know, we're all accustomed to seeing the beautiful carnival queens that take center stage uh, during uh, Rio's parade, uh, carnival parade. But a lot of times what's often not shown and that's very much uh, widespread throughout Rio de Janeiro is you have a lot of, uh, of the carnival queens uh, who are older. Uh, many of them uh, have come up through the Samba school uh, and been a part of that community and that school for probably in some cases most of their life and when they get to an older age where they can be deemed an elder maybe they're not extremely old but maybe they're not very young they're like more like middle age many of them still put on their sexy carnival costumes sexy carnival outfits and they're out there parading uh, just like everybody else it, there is a true appreciation for uh, those who have come before and I feel like culturally speaking, so many Brazilians give the honor and respect uh, to, to their ancestors and to those elders who um, are a part of their Samba schools and uh, take an active role in preserving the tradition. And I'm talking about the main parade. And then when you get to some of the smaller parades that happen in the neighborhoods, even more of those parades have elders who are who are, um, you know, playing in the bands and, uh, you know, the, uh, carrying the, the flag of the community. I mean, you see so many 
um, elders playing an active role all throughout the time you're in Rio de Janeiro, as I said, when it comes to the specific carnival and how it plays out. But also you see elders, you know, cooking and preparing food, uh, restaurants, holding down the fort in the restaurants. Brazilian culture has a true, uh, very deep respect for those uh, of a particular age who are now um, older, <laughs> middle aged and older. Uh, it is just truly um, welcoming to see. I love seeing a group of people and a culture that don't like throw their people away just because they've aged. You know, they find roles for them. Uh, many of the elders are still excited and pumped up about carnival and they probably get even more excited the older they get because of the special meaning it has and how they can probably recall different carnival um, uh, shows throughout their time, uh, you know, back in their days compared to now. So, um, that's what I absolutely love about it. And also, um, I, I feel like a lot of the, the elders, uh, in Brazil play an active role in the kids parade that happens. A lot of people don't know that the kids have their own carnival parade and their own carnival celebrations and traditions. And it really is a way. Hello, uh, Steph Lovely. Good to have you join. Um, a lot of the kids uh, have an important role in in uh, making sure that there's kid representation throughout Rio uh, de Janeiro's carnival. And so it's great to see because as I stated, the, the elders help with making sure those children have a, a real understanding and a real background and context for the importance of carnival, the importance of tradition, and keeping and continuing the tradition forward. Um, again, I could talk on and on and on about how wonderful uh, Carnival in Rio is and how uh, exciting uh, it, it is and how it has so many elements and so rich uh, in um, what it has to offer to those of us who attend. Uh, what I will say is what I say all the time on these videos, if you would like to join us in Rio de Janeiro for the world's largest carnival celebration, then you should definitely email us at blacktravelersnetwork at gmail.com. Thank you so much for joining this live. And until next time, we will bust up the next myth. But yes, it is a myth. You are not too old to attend carnival in Rio de Janeiro. You are Not only are you not old, but you're strongly encouraged and you're also welcomed. And for those of you who are older, uh, I've stated in previous videos that the only thing we need to make sure of with our elders who would like to attend is that your mobility. We need to make sure we're very clear on your mobility because although you will be a part of our group, we do make special arrangements to make sure that anyone who um, wants to attend, who, who uh, may be of a particular age and may have mobility issues, we make sure we have someone uh, assigned to be with you so that you're not slowing the larger group down. Um, so I know a lot of elders are, are concerned and they don't want to slow the group down, but that's the great part about our team. Like we are fully equipped to handle, um, you know, those little uh, nuances. We just need to know in advance before anyone comes if you have uh, issues or challenges with being able to move and keep up pace with everyone else in the larger group who tends to be, I'd say the, the average age group is in their 30s and early 40s uh, of those who uh, join the experience. But we've had people of all ages that have come and it's just a beautiful blending and meshing of brothers and sisters from uh, the United States. So come one, come all. And like I said, until next time.